All right. Hello. Hey. Huh. Hello. Goodbye. Tomorrow. Good afternoon. Hey there. Hey. <laughs> ah, hi, crew. Ah, good evening. It is 7 p.m. And I'm alive. But, hi, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. No, no, welcome. Wait, no, no, not welcome. Thank you for the remember. Karego, thank you for eight months. Sakura, thank you for the gift. And Moiwe, thank you for five months. Milo, thank you for two months. Hope you had a fun April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day. Oh, yeah, that is today. Huh, crazy. Maybe next time I'll have to do something. Didn't really get to do anything this year. Zen, thank you for eight months. Oh, my gosh. Did you know babies born on March 31st are the easiest to prank on April Fool's Day? They were literally born yesterday. <laughs> That's a good one. Buddy, thank you for, thank you for the Zupa. I appreciate it. So, how are y'all doing today? How are y'all doing today? How is how is chat doing? How is crew doing? On a scale of like one to ten, give me give me how you're doing today. Give me how you're doing. How's your day been? How's your day been? Are you, are you feeling all right? Feeling all right? Sarah, welcome to the crew. Thank you. Kyle, they give her four months. We do indeed ball. We do indeed ball. Seven, six, five, fifteen, ten. Well, I'm seeing seeing some outliers here. I like it. Mostly average though. Six, seven. Negative two, take care of yourself. Two, to be honest, I'm sorry. I wish you the best. Giselle, thank you for the remember. Eight out of 10, because it's Monday. Oh yeah, it do be Monday. I forgot, Monday has been a, Monday is a wild day. Huh. Franz, thank you for six months, Memba, Memba. Six months, oh my gosh, thank you, thank you. That's half a year, that's crazy. Gosh, well, to all of you that are below a 10, I wish you the absolute best. Um, if you're below an eight, I'm praying for you. Christ is one year soon. We do we do have quite a bit of time. Oh my gosh, it's crazy to think about that. Got to start. Got to start thinking. Got to start thinking. What is it? Tuesday? I guess it's Tuesday for the rest of the world. It is uh, indeed. It is indeed still Monday for me. Denny, thank you for the remember. Happy eight months, memories, and nine months with crisis. Gabby, thank you. And thank you for the soup. I appreciate it. Thank you for one much as well. College work. Gosh, ain't that a fucking bitch. Ain't that something. I can thank you for seven months. Blow an eight, but I'll always be, but I'll always be a 10. Hey, that's what I like to hear. Happy seven plus months. Thank you. Shamrock, thank you for six months. Morgan, thank you for the gifted. Rebecca, thank you for eight months. The time with you and the crew makes me Aww. I'm glad. Please take care of yourselves. Everybody that's having that's going through like a six or a or a negative two. I saw a negative two. I saw a two. Please take care of yourselves. I wish you nothing but the best. Gosh, that is the worst. Having a two days is, is just man. But I mean, you know what they say? Sometimes. If you're having a bad day, F it. Some days just get messed up and there's just no way to fix them. Lay down, go to bed, take a nap. Not every day that's gonna turn, that, that, that's a bad day is gonna turn into a good one. Just throw it all away. Just throw the whole day away. No reason, no reason to try and salvage it. It's a waste of time. Just chill. Koromoji, thank you for the gift. The five gift. Oh, thank you for the five gift. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hanley, thank you for seven months. Hanley, thank you, Hanley, thank you for eight months. Happy April Fool's Day. I was so surprised to see you streaming this morning. It was a great start to my day. I'm glad. Honestly, 5 a.m. streams are crazy. <laughs> the fact that I was able to go to sleep and actually wake up in time. My whole sleep schedule is like really getting fixed. I really like it. Well, thank you for four months. Benet, thank you for 10 gifted. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. Thank you, thank you. 
Thank you for 10, the crazy 10. Thank you for all the memberships, y'all. I appreciate it. I mean, thank you for seven months. Was at a con for three days straight during the weekend and busy with college work, but we ball with crew and crochet. Heck yeah, that's what I like to hear. Wait, oh wait, don't throw the whole year away. We still got like eight months left. Wait, I think eight months. Is that about right? Seven, nine? What, it, what month is it? We just started April, so technically nine. Technically nine. Don't throw it all away just yet. Throw it away. Throw it away. Why? What happened? What happened? Man, thank you for five gifted. Oh my gosh. Thank you for all the gifted. Thank you all so much. I appreciate that. I really do. When you thought 2024 was going to be your year? I, th I still think 2024 can be my year. I still think I ball. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, just, just, just persevering, persevering. Dizzy, thank you for seven months. Loving the thumbnail for real, don't eat us. Hey, thank you for the thumbnail. <laughs> Isaac, thank you for three months. Thank you all for all the remembers. I appreciate it. Everything is, uh, everything is quite, quite interesting. Today has been, uh, pretty wild, huh? A lot of things going on in Niji Sanji. Yeah, I think for five months. I, I, I'm feeling really comfortable right now. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, uh, I recently changed the position of my mic, and it has made my life so much easier, like a bajillion times easier. I, I Gosh, it, it has made my life so much better. So basically, the way my setup worked before is that, um, is that I had, so I have, I have three monitors, right? My mic was like off to the left side of me and it was kind of blocking. It, it took away some of my table real estate. So I decided to put it behind my monitors. I didn't think about it until I saw someone else's setup and I was like, hmm, maybe I'll try that. So I put my mic on there and now not only do the cords not extend all the way across my desk, so I have more desk real estate, but my mic is also in a much better spot. So whenever I'm just vibing and like, or whenever I'm just gaming or doing nothing, something, Nothing that involves my mic, I just push it back and it's completely out of the way. It's so nice. I have so much more room. Everything is just better. Everything is better. My favorite yaoi anime, Crisis. Man, that's crazy. Who said Who said Crisis was a yaoi anime? That's interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Nelson, but that's who, uh... Yeah, so... And yet you still are doing a six hour stream before it? Wait, before what? Hmm. Wilson was wild and out? Wow, interesting. Huh. Well, I mean, he's a funny guy. He's he's pretty creative, so you know, it's not really shocking that he was he would be the one to say something like that. I feel like with all of Wilson's yaps, he do be saying some bangers, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what they say. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. If you just keep yapping, you're bound to you're bound to spout some bangers, you know? If you just keep spouting mess, event eventually something's gonna be right. You're gonna be right one of these days. I think that's the philosophy Wilson and I take. It's that it's the yappers philosophy. If you never stop talking, eventually something's gonna be clip worthy. Something's gonna be something that just stands out, you know? It's it's the law of the yapper. And only professional yappers know the, the real truth. If you never stop talking and you just talk about whatever, eventually something, whether you know a lot about the topic, whether you are deeply intimate, deeply knowledgeable of whatever topic you're talking about or not, eventually you're gonna talk about something and you're gonna say something insanely profound, just insanely profound. It is gonna be wild. Nobody will be expecting it. But hey, that's what we live for. That's what the yapper lives for. The yapper lives for those moments where he just throws everybody off or they just throw everybody off, gender neutral pronouns. But the, yap the yapper lives for those moments where you just completely just take everyone by surprise. Like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that from Kershi. Like, huh, me neither. But look where we are. Look where we are. So yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna keep yapping. I'm never gonna stop yapping. It's just, comes with the territory, you know? And honestly, I have these fangs. I should keep yapping. 
if my mouth stays closed then nobody can keep nobody can see my fangs and the more i yap and mew the stronger my jawline is so as long as i'm breathing out of my nose i'm mewing and i'm talking but profoundly and when i'm supposed to i will remain the top mogger in, Nichis in the nijisan gen i will remain in the top three that's how i looks max that's how i looks max you have to be smart with your talking Know when to listen. Listening is definitely important, but you gotta know when to speak as well. Otherwise, your jawline never develops. Keep your mouth shut, breathe through your nose, and then you just talk. You yap. You yap. That's the key. That's the key. Meredith, thank you for 20 gifted. Holy heck. Oh my gosh. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're crazy. The 20 memberships. Thank you for all the gifted. Gifted Pong. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Really enjoyed the streams this morning, but did you wake up at 5 today? OMG, I did actually, yeah. I did indeed wake up at 5 a.m. Um, I went to bed at like 10. Woke up at 5, got like 6 hours of sleep, not bad. Did Wilson ever get uh, you get to you about my grandmother in your, in your basement? Just curious. Yeah, you're gonna have to ask Wilson about that. Um, I don't know, that's not really my area of jurisdiction. Uh, you're gonna have to ask him. And then maybe he can get back to me. Uh, sorry for the confusion. Looks like the first 20 got eaten by YouTube. What? Wait, what? I'm so sorry. I, I can't believe YouTube's like that. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. I hope you're able to get refunded for it. Blood Angel, thank you for seven months. Holy guacamole, seven months. The heck, Roshi. You better feed me Vix as a reward, by the way. Happy Slimesery. That's really cute. I love Slimesery. Are we going to call it Slimesery from now on? Every time. Remembers? I'm going to call it Slimesery. No more remembers. I'm going to call it a Slimesery. That's amazing. You just started a trend. Thank you for being a trendsetter. Thank you for that. You're great. You're amazing. And thank you for seven months. Thank you for seven... Your se seven... Seven... Seventh Slimesery? Is that what we're going to call that? <laughs> <laughs> Slimesery, that's great. That's really great. Also, I'm not gonna lie to you, holy when you said holy guacamole, it made me think of this Tinder interaction I saw on I can't remember what I saw it on. Was it? Was it? It was one, one social media site. I can't remember which one it was. It was like the dude the dude got a match on Tinder and he was like, Holy guacamole, you're pretty. Uh, would you like to come to my place? And then the girl just responded, please don't ever start any of your interactions on here with holy guacamole. That just turned me off so badly. I, I don't even want to talk to you. And he was like, oh, well, do you still want to come to my place? And she unmatched him. I, I, I still think about that. I don't know why I remember that. That's like a strange memory that I have. It was just randomly scrolling mindlessly. And somehow I remember this weird interaction on Tinder. <laughs> this guy was like, holy guacamole, you're pretty. I'm like, dang, if I was... If I was in that scenario and somebody said, holy guacamole, you're pretty, or if, or if a girl said, holy guacamole, you're handsome to me, I'd, 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 I'd faint. I'd be over for me. Astro Clips, thank you for seven months. I'm your first Kamiyoshi. Well, thank you. Thank you for making me your first Kamiyoshi. I am honored. I am honored. Very much so. Hey, thank you for the Supa. Stop, make a drop, then we yap. Exactly. Time to thank you for five months. Shall I thank you for four months? Plus April Fool's Day, Groshi. Uh, biggest joke today was realizing I had regulated to a healthy sleep schedule to catch your stream. Let's go. Healthy sleep schedules for the win. I'm on my healthy sleep schedule arc too. Everything is fixed. Uh, I was able to like talk to people and say hi to people that I just never get to see anymore. It was crazy. It was nice. Stars, thank you for eight months. Eight months. Oh my gosh. Thank you for seven. This is insane. <sighs> B, thank you for seven months. Mary Slimesery. Mary Slimesery. Huh. I'm sorry. Did you just say that sounded like me? What do you mean that sounded like me? Are you trying to say... Are, are you saying that if I matched with someone on Tinder, I would say, holy guacamole, you're pretty? Why does that sound like me? You want to explain? Can you elaborate? What does that mean? Why does that sound like me? Why does that sound like something I would do? Why... Why are you laughing? Why are all of you laughing? What do you mean? I would say holy guacamole? 
First of all, you're crazy for even thinking I would be on Tinder, but holy guacamole, why? Why does that sound like something I would just say? I've never said holy guacamole, ever. The closest I've come is holy heck, or like holy shiitake mushrooms, but holy guaca- went from one food to another <laughs> never mind maybe you have a point Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, I, I, I don't know how you bounce back from that one. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's crazy. Huh? Wow, that's interesting. That is wild. But I mean, it does make sense. Wow. Holy shiitake mushrooms to holy guacamole. It's not even all that far fetched. Wow. I just, hmm, okay. I just went from a vegetable to a fruit. Yeah, I mean, it's not even. Yeah. That's honestly not even that shocking. Okay. All right then. Yeah. Okay. It sounds a little corny, not gonna lie, but corny can be cute. I, I'm not, I, I'm, the fact that you're saying that and it almost feels like you're consoling me for getting unmatched with on Tinder, like I'm retelling my own story. I was telling a story of a meme I saw. It wasn't even me, but somehow I feel like I'm the one being consoled for being rejected when I was never rejected. I'm not even on Tinder. That's insane, dude. That's crazy. Somehow I, I've, I've, somehow rearrange this entire story to make me out to be the victim how did i do that how did i do that that's insane i, I that is impressive I, I professional victim professional victim right here wow <laughs> i'm done i'm done i'm sure it was a friend a hypothetical it wasn't a hypothetical i can go find the meme i swear it's on tinder i, I it's it's it, it, it's not me i didn't I, I didn't it didn't happen to me it didn't happen to me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I promise. Bro, you say what the frick frack snick snack? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I... All right then. Yeah. I'm sure it was your friend. It wasn't my friend. I never said it was my friend. It was a rando on like on like Instagram. Whoa. It was a rando on like Instagram or something. That's all it was. That's all it was. But okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna swap over to the game because this is a very Zatsuable game. It's not like I only have to Zatsu. We can just chill out while while it's on in the background. Divi, thank you for one. The one wait the one gifted. Oh my gosh, I almost said one month. Thank you for the gifted. Flu, thank you for six months. Why are you why are you giving me head pats? I don't need head pats. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I am I did not get rejected. I don't go on Tinder. I, I avoid that app like the plague. I am too demi for 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 that app. I am simply too demi. I I I I know. No. 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 Stop stop giving me head pats. Stop! I didn't get rejected. Stop! What is your problem? I'm t I I can't do this. I can't do it. I can't do it. What the heck is going on? I think something's wrong with this. Better now? Okay. Please, nothing is wrong. Why? 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 I'm not on I'm not on Tinder. I'm not on there. I'm not on there. Why do I feel like now people are just gonna make like memes? Drawings of me on Tinder and like the kind of things I would put in my profile. Like, I bet you Croshi's profile would look like this. 
I'm scared, dude. Please don't make fake Tinder profiles. Please don't do it. Huh. So... Hmm. Okay. I got Miranda, because apparently I didn't let Cookie into my village. I didn't actually, like, welcome her in. So I got someone else. Oh, it must have been from one of you guys' villages. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, Miranda cute. I don't mind her. I, I, I thought... I guess I just didn't... I don't know. I messed up. Thank you. I'm a fabulous friend. Y'all hear that? Is there a VTuber Tinder out there? <laughs> You're so funny. Even if... Even if there was... I would not wish that sight on anyone. Not my, not my best friend. Not any acquaintances. Not my family. Not my worst enemy. Not my mortal nemesis. That sounds terrible. Why would you want to date a VTuber? You were on the VTuber dating show? Whatever. Get back from doing it, Chevy. What is this? What is the talk of Tinder? You're cheating on us, Vanta. Wait, what? Cheating on you? Cheating on you with who? How, how do I cheat on you guys? What do you mean? Are you telling me VTuber Tinder isn't even for VTubers to date other VTubers? It's for VTubers to find other chats? Is that what? Is that how it works? VTuber Tinder. That's creative. That's real creative, actually. But why? But why though? But why? I mean, thank you for four months. I got a lot of my friends saying Crazy Dio, and, and they've even uh, come up with their own saying like Sag Dio or Slay Dio. I'm infecting them all. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. Dio? Dio? Who's the other crew? <laughs> God, literally bringing credence to that welcome home cheater meme that I see so much. I think I have all these already. Side crew? You wanna know who my side crew are? My side crew are My side crew are are the are the viewers on Twitch. Even though they're literally a mix of you guys and people that occasionally frequent Twitch. Because I never stream on Twitch. My side crew is neglected. They are forgotten. That's, that's, that's my side crew. Cheater. Ah, I see. I see now. Wait, are we not meant to be seeing other Oshis? Hey, I'm not a, I'm not a Yandere. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. I'm not, I'm not killing anybody because they're seeing another Oshi or because they have another Oshi. I like Yandere's, but I am not one. I feel like being a Yandere kind of takes you out of the group of being able to enjoy Yandere's, not gonna lie. But who knows? Hmm. 
Have you ever seen this in other chats? Yeah, plenty of times. Sometimes it's really interesting to see that some of you guys are longtime members of, you know, older waves. I think that's really cool. Whenever I, whenever I find out that, uh, I think I've talked about this before. I think it's really neat that, you know, there's, there's quite a few people in the Veskruniers that are new to Niji. Like, like Crisis was their introduction into Niji. I think that's so cool. Like, I am honored to have brought you into the fold or have been partly responsible for your interest in this area of the VTubing streamer sphere. But also, I think it's really neat to know that a lot of the best screeners are also longtime Niji Sanji just fans in general. I think that's so cool. It, it, it's really an honor. It's really, really, really an honor. It's honestly so nice. It's like, wow, you know, you're always, always open to something new. And who knows? Maybe, maybe somebody, somebody new comes around in Niji and you're just like, wow, this person reminds me of my Oshi. Now I have two Oshis. And sometimes I have three, sometimes four, five, six, seven. There's no limit. Like I said, I'm not the Yandere. I'm not going to kill you if you decide to have other Oshis. I, I just like being yandere Is that, is that a yonder raid? Victoria, thank you for eight months. What's four plus four? Eight, exactly, exactly. Why do I like yonder raids? Um, well, I am working on this actually, and I feel like I'm doing a lot better in terms of like overthinking. But like, what is it? As someone that 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 is, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start speaking in past tense because I want to start uh, manifesting that I'm no longer an overthinker. Uh, as someone that was an overthinker, uh, as someone that was an overthinker, I feel like when it comes to a yandere, that's the ultimate form of reassurance. Like if if you're if you're struggling. No matter how secure you feel in the relationship, some people just really need that reassurance. And I feel like the ultimate reassurance is knowing that someone is willing to murder for you. I feel like that's the ultimate form of reassurance. I have talked about this on stream before. I feel like if somebody was like, yeah, I love you so much, I'm going to kill everyone else that is a possible threat to my relationship security. I feel like that's the ultimate form of security for me. I think that's just neat. I'm like, oh, wow. She must really like me, Hazukashi. Like, like I'm just like we're just out walking, holding the hands or something, and then like another girl looks at me. That's it. She doesn't even do anything. She doesn't smile. She doesn't do anything. Or like I drop something and then another girl picks it up and hands it to me, and then she's just like, "I'm gonna kill that girl," and I'm just like, "Man, wow, he must really like me." <laughs> you know, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think Yandere's are pretty cool. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're just out like chilling. And then another girl is just like, can I take your order? And then your Yandere girlfriend is just like, I'm going to kill her. And you're just like, whoa, whoa, babe. She's just trying to take my order. <laughs> no need to go that far. <laughs> you guys are just out going for a walk. You drop your phone. Another girl picks it up and goes, hey, sir, you dropped this phone. And then... Your hands like slightly touch because they handed you your phone. And then your yandere girlfriend is just like, I'm going to kill them. And then you're just like, whoa, babe. They were just giving my phone. I don't know them and they don't know me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not okay. But that's fine. Um, I want to fly. I want to go to work. 
Time for takeoff. Marty, thank you for one month. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's nice. Like I said, I would never subject subject anyone to that. But for me, I ain't got no problem. I ain't got no problem. No problem. Ultimately, on some realness though, obviously not like a real yandere. I'm just saying like the idea of it. I think in terms of a trope for a character, I like that. But like to actually really date a girl like that, obviously not. That's a joke. For legal reasons, that is a joke. Uh, please do not take that seriously. Um. Oh, I'm gonna give her a house. But um, uh, yeah, for legal reasons, that is a joke. But like, ultimately, my my main values and what I do like the most is somebody that tells it like it is, is honest and straightforward, and is very good at clearly establishing boundaries and will communicate. Because communication satisfies my brain. It's funny because despite despite being such a low maintenance person, when it comes to like something more sensitive like that, I need a lot of communication. I need I need a lot of communication. And it it would be really troublesome for me. But I guess that's the hopeless romantic in me. I don't know. I just think about a lot of outcomes and I think about a lot of things. My brain is like one big book with endless pages. I'm ultimately a storyteller, and I just think of all the possible outcomes. So when somebody's there to clearly set set the terms and let me know exactly what they want from me and what they expect from me, man, 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 that's kind of crazy. I will die for you. I will kill for you. Honestly, both of those are kind of weak. It's easy to die for somebody. Live for me. what I'm saying, dude. You know? You know? Through thick and thin, good and evil, sickness and in health. a romance anime now Do you guys have any recommendations I want to feel love through other people skip and loafer what is that you know it was really cute Banished from the Heroes Party. I decided to live a quiet life. I want to go watch that one. I want to watch the second season of it. That one's nice. Ori Mia. Yeah. High School DxD. Yeah, that's a good romance as well. I agree. Tiny Lucky, thank you for six months. Hope you're doing well. Here's six months. I recommend Skip Beat, Fruits Basket, and Princess Tutu. Wait, really? Okay, okay. You know what? You know what I've been watching this season. You know what show is actually kind of cute? Uh, Villainess Level Ninety Nine. That one's nice. I 
I actually have been really enjoying that one. Honestly, both of the villainous animes this season ha were, were really good. Like, uh, My Seventh Life as a Villainess or something like that. I forget what it's called. That one's really that one's really nice too. Your lie in April. I said I wanted to feel happiness, not pain. I've heard about a sign of affection. Rainbow actually recommended me a sign of affection. I still have to watch it. All right, time to give you a house. Thank you, Chat Jesus. Let's chat. Francine? Banana fish? My Happy Marriage? I've heard about that one. Huh. Special A. Yari Yarichi? What is that? Home for a, f a classy designer. Oh, I see. Did you just say Boku no Pico? What the fuck? Huh? What an adorable comedy. My next life is villainess. All routes lead to doom. Is super good, I think. Okay. I've seen that one around, actually. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. How did you destroy the wholesome conversation? How did you ruin it? Where this this is this is a bunch of dem demisexuals and hopeless romantics getting together trying to share trying to share romance fiction with each other and you guys have the nerve to bring this up. Honestly, that's hilarious. Keep it up. But like, man, does it hurt? You know what else is really cute? Go watch The Sage's Magic is Omnipotent. Flames. Absolute flames. How did you know I was Demi? I just felt it. Yuri on Ice has a happy ending. Huh. So I'm curious, is Yuri on Ice about a guy named Yuri on ice or is it like Yuri on ice? Does that make sense? That question makes sense, doesn't it? Yuri on ice is great. Okay. Okay. Hi, Yuki. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, it's good. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's good. Okay. You're on ice. So it's not girls love on ice. It's it's boys love on ice. Okay. All right, then. I'm learning. I'm learning. Hey, Crochet. Hope you're having a great day. This week's schedule is very exciting. Also, the art is so cool. Thanks to you and the amazing artist. Isn't the art great? I actually look way too good. I'm honestly kind of scared. I didn't know. Like, I'm like, wow, that's crazy. I look really good. I'm like really attractive in that art. It's actually kind of scary. I was looking at myself like, man, lip bite. You, you going anywhere tonight? And then I turned around and then I went, nah, I'm not going to be anywhere. I don't go outside. And then I turned back around and I said to myself, me neither. And then I sat down. Honestly, my Riz is immaculate. Ooh. 
Whoa, brother. Whoa, brother. What's a home for a classy designer? I like this. Theory on ice, watch along. So I'm watching. You know, theoretically. 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 We've been over this. If you skip openings and endings, and even if you don't skip openings and endings, but if you skip openings and endings, each episode of anime is around 21 minutes, maybe 20. Theoretically, you could watch three episodes per hour if you skip openings and endings. There's 12 episodes in your average season of anime. One hour per three episodes. One hour per three episodes. One, two, three, four. And even if you don't skip any openings and endings, it's only about five hours. Theoretically, you could finish an entire half season of anime in five hours. Why? Why are you bringing up these names? Why? Why? Why would you even talk about Yosuga no Sora? Just don't. Just don't. Leave it alone. Talk about these animes in your discords or in your DMs. Stop bringing them into the chat. Stop. <laughs> Stay away. Stay away. Why? We were so happy! We were chillin'! Macchiato, thank you, thank you for the membership. Welcome to the Vanta crew. I'm so sorry. Why do you know of them? What do you mean, why do I know of them? Of course I know of them! I know them all! I saw them all! I watched them all! Have you ever heard of a little concept called morbid curiosity? You ever just start watching something because it looks interesting? Maybe the animation's pretty, maybe the characters are cute, and you're like, oh, this show looks interesting. And then you start watching, and something crazy happens on the screen. Something so gut-wrenchingly sick, something so twisted, that only the oddest, strangest, most crazy of souls would conceive of animating it. And then you watch it, the scene happens. The music is intense. The animation is at its high. The Sakugas. Amazing. And then you realize what you just watched. And now that you've watched the one scene, you finish the episode. And you finish the episode and you realize this is like a one shot. There's only like six episodes. Sometimes it's a half season. Sometimes it's maybe only a few episodes. And you just decide to keep going and you keep going and you never stop because even though you know what you're watching is sick and wrong you just can't stop you have to finish just out of pure curiosity morbid curiosity you don't want to watch it but secretly you do but you really don't it's not even a secret that you don't but you watched it it's too late you can't get out you're too deep you might as well finish it you already saw the beginning, so just go to the end, baby. When life gives you dilemmas, you gotta make lemonade. Just keep going. Life isn't about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and get back up and keep going. Okay? Of course I've seen all the sick anime you're talking about. I've seen all of them. I'm a victim too. And it won't end with me. I don't know what the heck's going on either. Don't worry about it. 
Anyways, I need a floor. Um, um, what even is for outside? I see. I don't know either. Ooh. Oh boy. Wait. I just realized. I can get part... Are those called partitions? What are the walls? What are the walls? You know how you can put up walls? Are those called partitions? What is a partition? That's a wall. I need partitions. How do I get partitions? Do I have to buy them? I have to find them, don't I? I need partitions. I think that would help with my rooms and my decorations. They're called boundaries. <laughs> called boundaries. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that works too. They're basically the same thing. I don't know why. It's just the way you said that made me think like they're called. Excuse me, sir. They're not called partitions. They're called boundaries. And I need you to respect them. <laughs> I don't know why. That was... <laughs> Like, they are the same thing, but like, just the way that message was typed out, I immediately read such sassy energy from it. Like, you were just like, they're called boundaries. Excuse me? They're not partitions. Oh my gosh. God. I mean, just think about using those two words interchangeably. I think that would be so amazing. Okay. Alright, guys. This is a serious talk. I'm setting, I'm setting some partitions. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. I'm setting some partitions. All right. I'm setting some partitions. <laughs> I'm establishing some partitions, okay? Please respect them. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh yeah, what's it called? I didn't show you guys this. Um, I bought a bunch of like Lego games and just a bunch of games in general because they were on sale. They were on sale for like, I think, God, Nintendo was having this. It was crazy. I think all the Lego games were like seven, six, eight dollars, something crazy like that. And I got all, I got the Dragon Quest trilogy for pretty cheap too. Do you have perms to play on stream? Ha 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 I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that sale is still happening, but I got them when they were on sale. It was a pretty. It was a pretty nice sale. Wait, I just realized. Sha na 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 na. Not an anime, but a movie. I want to eat your pancreas. Is a good one. I wonder if you haven't watched it yet. I have seen that one. I've heard about that one. The name threw me off, but I know that it's a good one, Shana. Also, hi. Thank you for the super. And thank you for the five gifted. Gifted Pog. Thank you so much. Thank you for the memberships. I appreciate that a lot. We're doing well. Thank you so much. If you like a love story, may I recommend TGCF to you? Where MC literally goes, if you don't know how to live anymore, then live for me. It's a B... Oh, it's a BL. See, I I'm, not as I'm not as much of a BL connoisseur as most... Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Do I seem like the what? Do I seem like the kind of person that's into BL like that? Because I just like a good story. Whether it's BL or not doesn't bother me too much. But I'm curious. I have a vibe. What exactly does that mean? What exactly are you saying? I have a vibe. I have a BL vibe. What is what is me having a BL vibe exactly mean? Like, what, is, what does that entail exactly? Are you trying to say that I look like I'm into boys love? Like, anime, manga, and fiction? Or do I look like I'm into BL as in I watch pornographic content? Or do I look like I'm into boys love as in I look like I like boys? I'm curious. You don't feel like a BL specific type? See, that's also a strange answer. What does that mean? What, what is the vibe? What is the type? What are you talking about? I have an open mind. I'm an, I'm open-minded. Okay, I am open-minded. 
Polycrisis, you're right, but that's a special case for the homies. So I don't know if we can use that one. You feel like a BL ally to me. A BL ally? I mean, I don't know. A BL ally? <laughs> it's always been so weird to be called like, oh yeah, you're, you're, you're such a great ally for the LGBTQ community. And I'm just like, don't you mean like I'm just a person? <laughs> Is it not normal to want to think that other people deserve like <laughs> decency and respect? You're an ally. There's nothing I can put out here. Your, your outside is going to be fucking barren. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not doing anything crazy. Like, I haven't held up any signs or anything or done anything like... Or done anything wild. I haven't like put on a show and done a dance with my with my I love BL shirt. I haven't really done any of that. I, I, I just I just I just treat people like people. I mean I guess I watch Naruto. I got that vibe. I see. Okay. All right, fair enough. I got that BL vibe. I still don't know what the hell that means, but you know, we ball. I guess I just got that BL vibe. I don't know, dude. We just be out here living. We just be out here living. Living. What was supposed to happen? The BL shirt? Do I have a BL shirt? I don't have a BL shirt. At least I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't think I do. Where's the partitions? Where's the partitions exactly? Other... You don't have a Naruto shirt? I don't actually, believe it or not. You sound like someone we can gush about BL without judgment and also a BL protagonist vibes. That's what we're saying. Trust me, I'm a professional. I give off BL protagonist vibes. That's interesting. I, I don't think I want you to elaborate on that. Yeah. 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 No, that's... Mm. Boy. Where are my partitions? Wallpaper floors? Fashion items? Ceiling decor? Uh, <sighs> it's in the three dots on God. Oh, 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 nice. Okay, we're gaming. Boom, boom, boom. Excuse me, what? What? Why? 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 
Why? Why? Why? Why? Why? Why? Why? Why? Why? The partitions have boundaries. That's dumb. That's dumb. I... I don't like it. Toru this. Oh my gosh. Your profile picture just made me think of it. Guys, I got Chiori. I got her. I got her. She's mine. She's mine. I got Chiori. I got her. I didn't give up, and I got her. I got Chiori, baby. Did I get the Ito weapon too? Yes, I did. You can use a piece of furniture as a substitute for the partition? That's dumb. That makes me angry. That's really stupid. That makes me mad, actually. Like, really mad. You're not lying? Why would I lie? <laughs> why? Like, why? <laughs> now you don't believe me? <laughs> why? <laughs> would I, why would I lie about that? <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy, dude. Why would I lie about that? That's definitely a weird thing to lie about. Like, what do I gain from lying about that but sadness? What actually, what actually do I gain from lying about something like that? Think about it for a second. Anto, we don't believe you so easily anymore because of one too many instances where we ended up is... But like, but like, <laughs> okay, fine. I'll just show you her. I'll show you her, I'll show you her later. I'm building her right now. I'm building her. Guys, I got her weapon R2. Did you really think I wasn't gonna, like, I wasn't gonna go for her? Like, come on. Come on, guys. Back. Ah. 
How about the Ito weapon? Yeah, I got the Ito weapon. It's level 70 right now. Oh, the Ito weapon. No, I wasn't lying about the Ito weapon. I got the Ito weapon. I got Chiori. I got Chiori's weapon R2, and I got Ito's weapon. This is the most I've spent on a Genshin banner. I hate myself. No, trust me. Trust me. I got it. Trust me. You can trust me on that. I swear to you. I swear to you. I, I swear. Ooh. Well, that's cute. Oh. Oh. Source, trust me, bro. I don't understand what reason do I have. Okay, all right. <sighs> Since y'all want to be so funny. You believe me? It's not enough. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Y'all thought I was playing. Y'all thought I was playing. We not we not playing around here. You're gonna need proof on April Fools? What 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 reason? I mean never mind. Oh, wait, you guys can see my UID, whatever. Ito. Red Horn Stone Thresher. I got his weapon. I got Chiori and her weapon. Her weapon's level 60. She's level 60. I got Ito to level 70. And his weapon's level 70. I got some farming to do. But I did most of the work. Alright. There you go. Don't ask me again. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, wow. These walls like this? I like this. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do that. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Oh, never mind. I win. Oh, I win. Oh, my God. I win. I don't know, dude. Look, I know it looks like an Ikea, but I can't help it. There's no doors. There's no doors. Like, what do you want me to do? There's no doors. I 
There's no doors. I wish I could have some doors. It would be nice to have some doors. But we ain't got no doors. If I could put doors, like, by the partitions and make them, like, rooms, that would be so nice, dude. I would love to do that. But alas, I cannot. I just can't. I can't pull it off. Giving her a bedroom, I'm trying to give her a nice place to live. That's all. I just don't want her to feel like, you know, I don't want her to live nowhere. You know what I mean? What rug would look best here? Yeah, no. Honestly, the partitions not touching at corners is the worst. I, I hate I hate that I have to do it like this. I really do. It is actually painful. With the bed facing the door directly, though? Technically, it's not facing the door directly. Technically, it isn't. I mean, technically, I could do this. I could put the put the dresser here and then put the bed this way which is an option technically it's not bad but i don't like that layout i don't know something about that layout just don't feel right um and i could do that and then what's the oh Ooh, no that is not a good look i don't think i like this very much it feels like the bed is, like, in a corner. You feel trapped. Oh. I think this is better. No, I'm just... I'm, I'm, t I'm just taking your opinion seriously. I wasn't taking it as, like, an insult. It was, it was a good idea for me to try a different layout, even if I ended up not liking it. Oh, I see. So I have to unlock pillars. Okay. That's what's going on. That's what's missing. Hmm. There's got to be a rug on the floor here that would look good, though. I don't know exactly what it would look what it would look right, though. That's the only thing. Hmm. I don't like any of these, to be honest. Oh wait. What what rug does she like? The blue dotted rug? Hello, well, you're funny. Would any of these other walls look better? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I kind of like the black, though. Yeah, I mean, the blue dotted rug does make sense. Hello, well, and she loves it. Try the dark blue rug. You see that? Dark blue one. The blue shaggy. No, you're talking about the elegant blue. Just you just said try a dark blue rug. What about this one? And yeah, that's too small. There are variations. No, there isn't. Mm. Oh, there's a shade. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> A lighter rug would bring more light to the room. All right, you don't have to tell me twice. We're gonna bring back the black then, baby. Oh wait, that actually does look nice. 
I think. Probably not, though. Who cares? I've lost interest. Let's just go all the way. Anything else I can put in this room? There's got to be something else. Oh. She deserves a mirror in her own room. A plant. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Y'all are so smart. Um pictures on the wall that could also work personally i don't know what plant would really work all that well in here she's so bright though why the dark room so she could shine in it i don't know i'm gonna be real with you i don't actually care about her i'm making this room because i like it and these are the options i was given so i'm using them <laughs> in all honesty in all honesty i'm not really worried about her if I'm being if I'm being real, I could care less. Really not all that interested. <laughs> uh, funny dude, funny. That's creative though. That's real creative. Okay. I mean I don't know, to be honest with you. What would I put here? That's a good question. That's a really good question. I'm not sure about it. KK love song. Perhaps. Perhaps. You know what? I feel like sh this room looks like she would have an iron in there. Let's put an iron in there just for fun. Yeah, that's cool. Just put an iron like in this corner for no reason. That would be nice. Yeah, whatever. We ball. Um, let me get this ceiling fan over the bed, though. That's way better. Oh, wait. That actually improved the room tenfold, just putting the ceiling fan in the center. That's crazy. All right. Um, okay. So now... Now we've got this little dressing room over here in the corner. We put this right here. Let's take away this iron. I don't know why it looks weird here. We put this, uh, we put this, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I really couldn't tell you. Oh, you know what, actually? I'm gonna do something crazy. Okay, so how about I do this? Oh, are those both sewing machines? Oh, you know, that explains a lot, honestly. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put these two here, right? It's gonna be crazy. You guys are gonna be like, whoa. Whoa, Vanta, you're so crazy. Okay, we're gonna put this here in the corner. And then I'm gonna take this vintage couches. I'm gonna get two of them. I'm gonna actually get the variations and turn them black. And then I get another one. I'm gonna turn that one black too. That was not supposed to go in there, but okay. I'm gonna get rid of these two. I'm gonna put this back here. And I'm gonna put this back here, right here. It's like open, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm supposed to get like a mini table or something. It's gonna be one of those tables, you know what I mean? One of those tables. Housewares. 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 Um. Um. Where's the table? <laughs> Where is it? Oh, Zen low table? No. No. Vintage low table. There we go. And then we're gonna make that black too. 
because why not? I'll put that right there. Get the thing in the corner. And then we got to really spice up the place. So we're going to get some wall stuff. And then we're going to get a picture. We're going to get like a painting. Where's a painting? A scenic painting. Why is that in the snow? Ooh, for what? What? What is this painting? Why? What scene is this? You know what? Whatever. I don't care anymore. What the frick frag snick snack. Actually, you know what? I'm not really feeling the black table anymore. I'm not about it. I'm really not about it anymore. I've lost interest. We're gonna put this here. Like right there. Perfect. Now we got a painting there. It really brings out the place. Nobody can see the table. The table is gone. So I'm gonna actually go back to brown. And then, and then, and then, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get a, we're gonna get a painting. We're gonna get a picture. Just to like really give this whole house like scary movie vibes. We're gonna get this poster and we're gonna put it right there. I'm gonna put it right there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 no. oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, oh, it's, it's, I can't, oh, oh, never mind. I've lost interest. Okay, here's what I'm gonna actually do instead. I'm gonna put this antique uh, low table or whatever it's called. I'm gonna put it. Never mind. I can't put it there. So just forget about it. Forget about my whole plan. Honestly, I just want to die. I'm gonna take two of these. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna put this right here. And I'm gonna do that. And then we got a whole separate room. We got the, the sewing machine right there with the thing boom oh my gosh dude wait i'm actually kind of good at this put a thing in there with um with um a vintage dresser i guess i don't know <laughs> Um, <laughs> just throw a mannequin in there too. Why not? <laughs> just F it. <laughs> yeah, let's shoot that towel basket on there too. Why not? Why not? Let's get a fra let's get some fragrance sticks. We really need that. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the corner over here. <laughs> I'm gonna do this put that right there and then we're gonna get the mirror and then we're gonna put it right here <laughs> maybe move this over so they can actually access it and then we're gonna put this here and then the mannequin's just gonna go in this corner for absolutely no reason <laughs> And now I'm gonna take this poster and I'm gonna put it on the partition. Never mind. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm not okay. Um, 
pray for me. Um, that's crazy, dog. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nah, it ain't gonna work. Um. Sheesh. Um. Oh wait, a monochromatic dotted rug. Wait, does that work better than the blue? Thank you for being a good emotional support while I'm at work. Listening to you like a podcast really helps me get through it. Have a fun stream, goat. Thank you. I appreciate you calling me uh, a solo stream, a podcast. Because honestly, I really do be talking to myself. I just create scenarios for myself. Like, hey, Vanta, how are you doing today? Not too bad, Vanta. How are you doing today? Honestly, it's been kind of rough. I feel like I haven't had enough water. You should drink some water, Vanta. Yeah, but you should also drink some water. Yeah, but you're the one that just said that he needed water. Yeah, I know, but technically you're me. So if I need water, you also need water. That's very true, Vanta Crowbringer of Niji Sanji Yen's 8th Wave Crisis. Yeah, you're right. We should drink some water. What was I talking about? You're welcome. Talk to me. Talk to me. Also, Jake, thank you for the Zupa. One month fog. Ha, huh? April Fools. I bet you were tricked. You did get me. You really did. Honestly, sometimes when things aren't feeling right, eights just look like ones to me. Eights just look like ones. The nice, mighty, fulfilled, vivacious curves of the eight. Sometimes they flatten. When I'm not in my right mind. And everything just looks like a one to me. Everything's just look like ones. Circular things that have smooth, consistent, clear lines no longer look like circles. I don't know, man. I need to get some water expeditiously. Life is crazy. What am I doing? I'm done. I'm done. I'm finished. Here. Come and talk to me. I really want to meet you. Can I talk to you? What? Fuck. What items were in the cardboard boxes? Did I take them out? Oh, the sewing machine. LOL. Can I talk to you? I really want to know you. I want to know. You better tell me your name. I want to know. Mm. I've been watching you so very long. Trying to get under built up to be so strong it's ready you did it i know i know you're welcome Partitions. D 
These camera angles are so whack. Y'all are so wrong for this. We just saw like three fourths of the house. No, like one fourth of the house. What is this? I have done so much for you. You're welcome. May I take photos? I should get going. How is her house a maze? There's clear areas for all the rooms. I did a great job. I don't want to give anybody a house. Nine thousand. Nice. Beyonce partitions. What are Beyonce partitions? What? What? Oh, I designed ten homes. I get a party. There's a song called Beyonce Partitions. What if we make you a house? Partition? I don't listen to Beyonce. The last song I listened to I listened to by Beyonce was What was that song that she dedicated to Jay-Z? I forget which one it was. Oh, Love on Top. That's the last Beyonce song I listened to. Cause you're the one that I love. You haven't heard This Ain't Texas? That's Beyonce? way Jay-Z had her singing like that? Nah, it's true. I remember, I remember watching the concert that she performed that song at for the first time. The album literally had just came out that same day and she performed that song and Jay-Z was like on stage and she was like smiling at him and stuff. It was when they were still together. Wait, they're together? They're still together? Oh. I thought he cheated on her. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> I thought he cheated on her and they were like done. Oh, he did! Oh, but... You know, 
Wow, okay. I mean, hey. Teach their own. I ain't shaped nobody. It's not my life. I don't care. You know, I remember looking through therapists um, when I was trying it for the first time. And I kept seeing like different, uh, different things that they specialized in. You know, it's like people specialize in different areas of therapy. You know, some is more like recovering from like uh, domestic, uh, domestic violence. Um, what is it? Some focus on anger management. Some people focus on overthinking and, and catastrophizing. People focus on different areas. And then like, I see like, you know, like some are like they, they specialize in infidelity. And I'm just like, that's crazy. That's crazy. You must really love somebody to want to recover from that. Couldn't be me. I couldn't do it. That's powerful. That's powerful love right there. You gotta really love somebody. You gotta really love a an MF. <laughs> I, I couldn't do it. You could not pay me. I don't know how much money you could pay me. To, 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 for me to be in a relationship and for it to somehow make it through infidelity, I simply could not. But like I said, not my life, not, not my, not my marriage. Just, I, who cares? Who cares what my opinion is, honestly? Who cares? Why does anybody care what my opinion is? What if they pay for your gotcha? Okay, so consider this. If my would-be sugar mama that is unfaithful to me pays for all of my gotcha, if we're talking C6 R5-ing every single character that drops, uh, mm, uh, I mean, at that point, you might as well just open up the marriage. <laughs> Look, y'all. Game is game. Game is game. <laughs> I mean, it's a win-win. They don't want to be faithful. I don't want to be with them anyways. I, like, honestly, I'm going to be straight up with you. I would probably die. I would probably die in that relationship. Because I would be too stressed out constantly. And I would constantly feel like I was never enough. I would probably die very young in that relationship. But. I would be able to play Honkai. And Genshin. And Wuthering Waves, and I would be able to get every character. So... I don't know, that sounds like an even trade to me. A brother in Christ, that's not a marriage, that is a business transaction. A vendorship, a contract, okay. 
I got my got I got my gotcha though, so I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Could you imagine? Yeah, honestly, if you're in it for the gotcha, who cares? Supposed to say April Fools? For what? I wanna go back. Time for takeoff. Well, it's over. It's too late. I lose. I have to buy any of any more of these. I do have one more. Okay. I'll just go buy it really quick. I mean, yeah, no, that genuinely that sounds like the worst scenario ever. I mean any scenario where infidelity is involved is the worst is the worst scenario ever. I wouldn't wish that on my non-existent worst enemy. Fuck. Especially coming from me, guys. I'm I'm simply too demi for that shit. I would die. I'm too demi. I'm too demi. Too demi Lovato. Um, go for delivery. Go for liquidation. What does this mean? Whatever, I'm ready to go home. Is that truly why you like Yandere's? I don't even know why I like Yandere's, dude. The explanation I gave is I thought I believed it was suitable, but maybe it's not. Fauna is the next one to go. Fauna is the next one out. Has it already been two hours already? Oh my god, wow. Huh. Feels like it's going by so fast. It's 
Almost been two hours. That is wild. Time do go time do go by pretty fast when you just be yapping. That ain't that the truth. I don't know. Is it an endurance today? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. I've been up since 5 a.m. <laughs> I had to wake up at like 4 in order to get prepared for stream this morning. So I'm probably going to go for like a bit longer, and then I'm gonna go to bed so that I can wake up for Left 4 Dead 2 tomorrow. No, 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 no. Sleep, my sleep dead is not like piling up all that badly. I've been going to sleep sooner so that I can wake up earlier. Like, la like what is it? Last night I went to bed at like... 11. So I still got roughly six hours of sleep. Roughly, just about. Definitely not totally six hours, but it's better than what I was getting in other nights. So, you know. Also, even if I was getting like five or six hours of sleep, I'm still going to bed in the evening and waking up in the morning, which feels immeasurably better than waking up in the evening. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, genuinely, I could even describe to you exactly how waking up in the evening feels. It is not nice. I actually don't like it. I don't like it. Like, genuinely, because I'm so JST, it makes me want to just be in Japan. Because then I can have a normal schedule. I just wake up, stream, like, in the morning, and then just ball. Because, like, waking up at night is not fun. Like, I, I really don't like going to bed in, like, the afternoon and waking up at night. You lose the whole day. I actually like the sun, funnily enough. <gasps> Campsite visitor! Really? Really? Okay. Who's in the campsite? I'm not expecting anything, but like, man. Yeah, there's Miranda. Don't say GG. What's your problem? Yeah. But I'm mainly trying to get back on a normal sleep schedule just for the time being so that I can like... It's low-key a way to rest. You know, I'm going to give myself some time to be regular. So I'm giving myself some hard time limits on my streams. I'm basically going to try and stay consistent with my start times and try not to go much longer than six hours. Four hours is going to be like average. So it basically, instead of six hours being average, eight hours being max, it's going to be like four hours average, six hours max. I'm just doing it so that I can be regular for a bit. This was, this was the best compromise that I can come up with, that I could come up with for myself. Because I didn't want to stop my, my streaming frequency. I wanted to keep streaming as often as I do. So I was like, what's the, what's the best way to like keep up how many days a week I stream, but still make it healthy for myself, at least relatively. And the compromise I found was just lowering my stream hours by just a bit. So I still stream just about as often, just not as long. That was the compromise that I found for myself so that I could actually properly get some rest. But something I also noticed that's really, really nice, um, namely with, uh, namely with this whole thing, aw, unfortunate, um, is that I have, like, time to do stuff <laughs> during the day. It's really interesting.
I didn't thank you for eight months. Also, thank you for the uh, thank you for the thumbnail art <laughs> for my first ever YouTube video. By the way, uh, I posted a YouTube video. By the way, um, I, I edited by uh by by Ichigo Ichigo. It's it's up right now on my channel. I am um, uh I got I got um I got my I got my playthrough of the closing shift edited. I'm gonna give her two months. Thank you, Vince. You're my favorite comedy streamer. Enjoy your late night. AC Zatsu with questionable takes on relationships and health. <laughs> questionable takes on relationships and health. I'm glad you like it. Thank you for two months. All right, who's in here? Why are you built like that? Why are you smiling like that? Yeah, I'm gonna go. What do you mean? She's a friend? Not mine. At least talk to her if you're going to insult her. I didn't insult her at all. I didn't insult anybody. You asked why she's built like that? That's you taking it as an insult. It's not my fault that you read into my words and, and, and read it as an insult. That's not on me. That's on you. If you listen to what I say and you take it as an insult or as a problem or as something bad, that's between you and God. That is not my responsibility. That's on you. That's on you. See? See? I didn't say it. See what I'm saying? Huh. Gaslighter. I feel like you guys just be saying stuff. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. By the way, if you want a rug, oh, Sahara's visiting? Nice. I don't care. Do we have any bubbles? Chat, do we have any bubbles? Do you have any thought bubbles? Any bubbles? Any bubbles in chat? Any bubbles in chat? Any bubbles in chat? 
Hey, roll up in chat. When did you get Miranda? I don't know. But you got a Miranda to <laughs> you got a Miranda to me, don't you? <laughs> Actually, a good one. You said now I have a bubble. <laughs> you said now I have a bubble. I'm considering leaving the crew. The best crewers are just dipping. By the way, um, question: you guys, you guys have any particular streams that you're excited for this week? I'm personally excited for uh Detroit. I'm really looking forward to Detroit, honestly. I've been looking forward to that game for a while now. Also, I've heard insane things about Witch's House. That game looks good, too. I'm excited about that. I have the same name. Stop. I'm sorry. Thank you for the super. Oh, yeah, Undertale. We're continuing Undertale. I didn't want to stream on Saturday. I would, I would typically, like, in a perfect world, I would have streamed Undertale on Saturday and taken Sunday off. But, um, uh, what is it? <laughs> but but what was I saying? Did I? Saturday not streaming? I'm not, no. No, I am not streaming on Saturday because the Mario Kart tournament is happening on that day. That's just, I don't remember what I just did. Did I already quit the game? Whatever, I guess we'll find out. Which team are you rooting for? I don't know. That's hard. Just kidding. I'm not going to say it, though. Yeah, I'm not joining because it's really unfortunate. It's actually very unfortunate. I didn't sign up initially because... On the original date that it was going to happen, I didn't think I'd be able to make it. I did not anticipate a... I did not anticipate what would happen. <laughs> I did not anticipate any of this. So, yeah. I would have signed up if I'd have known. It's because Venta doesn't know how to drive. I know how to drive. I'm a great driver. Excuse me? Yeah, I'm still a great driver. How many errors did you get on your test? What? Er what test? Oh, my driver's <laughs> test? Oh, actually, you want to know what I messed up on on my driver's test? You want to know what I messed up on? So there's a there's a point where you they they have you they have you pull up they have you pull up next to like a street and then they just have you back up in a straight line as straight as possible. You cannot hit the curb. I, I basically 
my my hand slipped. I got too complacent, and I I bumped the curb. That was where I messed up. Otherwise, though, perfect. It's actually perfect. Brian, thank you for the remember. No, not parallel parking. Parallel parking is easy. Ticket before though. Yes. One time. I haven't gotten one since. What did you do? It was a. Uh, it was. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm not gonna talk about I'm not gonna talk about things that I'm not no 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 Almost got him. Almost got him. Croji's a fucking criminal. Company VTubers break the law. I shut the fuck up. My Oshi is a criminal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Roshin, thanks so much for the membership. Welcome. Welcome to the Vanta crew. I'm sorry, you joined in on finding out that I'm a criminal. You've been in jail? No! No! <laughs> no! No! <sighs> it was all taken care of by Ash. It was all taken care of by Ash. I'm vibing. I'm vibing. I'm chilling. Jail. I'm fighting you. Tyrant in the streets for real. No, tyrant in the sheets. Ash made bail for you. Shut up. I didn't go to jail. That's not funny. I don't like that. That's enough. No more jail jokes. I don't like it. I don't like it. That's enough. Cut it out, guys. I don't like those jokes. That's not funny. Katie, thank you for eight months. This whole time I've been a fan of a criminal. SMH. SMH. Man, I thank you for eight months. Um. But yeah, no. I, I messed up on the, uh, on the backward straight line. But honestly, something that I'm finding, unless... I don't know if this varies state to state. Um, I didn't, ha I didn't have to parallel park. I think they're like slowly outlawing that. I think it might I think it might vary based on like where you're from though. Cause like if you're in like an area where it's like, you know, highly populated and it's like a city type area, you're gonna be parallel parking a lot. But if you if you live in a place where like you will never have to parallel park, then <laughs> like there's not really any reason for you to know how to do it. That's not how that works. Okay, well, I didn't have to parallel park in my test, so I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know what to tell you. I didn't have to. I 
I mean, I know how to parallel park. I'm a pro parallel parker. They call me Vantacro Parallel Parker Bringer. I mean, literally, just if there's two cars with a space in between each of them on a road, you literally just park parallel to the front car, turn your wheel all the fucking way until you're getting close to the curb, and then turn your wheel the other way and just keep backing into it. Parallel parking is not difficult. It's actually baby food. It digests and goes down so fucking easy. It is simple. There is no reason to be afraid of of parallel parking. That is that is not that is not your worst enemy on on the driving test. You want to know what your worst enemy is? Your worst enemy is is not looking around enough when you're driving. And also not driving like like a scared Like a very, like a very scared dog. You gotta drive like Courage the Cowardly Dog, basically. People that practice, they get way too comfortable, and they forget all the habits they're supposed to develop. You gotta, you gotta look for everything. You gotta look to the right, you gotta look to the left, you gotta look behind you, you gotta make sure you're looking in the rearview mirrors, and then you gotta, and then you have to do it all animated and stuff. Like, you basically have to be a Sims character while you're driving. Like... I want to hear everything. You got to make sure that that the instructor knows everything. They have to know exactly what you're doing because otherwise they don't know. Honestly, I would recommend wearing a, a cap on the front so that every time you move your head, it's very obvious. They can see that you're moving and then making sounds every time you do something like, bro, I'm talking. I'm talking this. You're driving. You're driving. They they tell you they tell you to get over into the next lane. You you fucking pop on your blinker you go huh pop on your blinker think and then you as you're turning your head you go huh and then you look back in your rearview mirror and you go huh and then as you're turning you go mm. that's that's what's going to be your worst enemy in the fucking driving test that's what's going to kill you in the driving test forgetting to do all that stuff that's what's going to kill you not parallel parking, not not the reverse, not the reverse straight line, none of that stuff. It's going to be forgetting to do all those things. Be a literal NPC while you are driving. While you are taking that driver's test, be an NPC. You got to you got to really absorb all that NPC energy. Does that really work? Yes. I'm not joking. Wear a hat and over exaggerate your movements. I'm not kidding. It's very important. Because you could do all the moving in the world, but if if the instructor doesn't see you moving, because think about it, think about it this way: they're gonna tell you to get over. They expect you to check your blind spot, look look in your rearview mirror, and look and look at your side mirrors. They expect you to do all of that. So if you don't give like a very clear indicator that you're doing that, you might get marked down. Like I don't know if they actually do. Maybe maybe you have like a really chill instructor. But mine was like particularly anal, so I, I just over exaggerated. And I feel like it's it's better to be safe than sorry, you know? Just imagine at the end of the test your instructor says you weren't looking and doing this and you were. I I, I would rather I would rather that it I would rather my driving instructor go home and, and go, man, I had a weirdo today when I was uh, taking uh, exams for the driver's test, this dude made sounds every single move he make. Every time he turned the wheel, he would go, hmm. And every time he would look, check his blind spot, he would go, huh? And every time he would turn on his blinker, he would go, dink. And every time he would look in his driver's mirror, he would go like, huh? And he and he would over-exaggerate all of his movements. I would, I would rather be the topic of dinner for that driving instructor that evening than be the topic of dinner at my own dinner table telling everybody why I didn't fucking get my driver's license. You, you see what I'm saying? I would, I would rather be one over the other. Better safe than sorry. Exactly. I check my mirrors and my blind spots at everything I was supposed to. 
Sure, I may have been a little bit loud while I did it, but I did it. That's all that matters. Wear your hat, over-exaggerate your movements, sometimes even make noise. Be an NPC. Take that driver's test like the most NPC version of you ever. Where are the thought bubbles, baby? It could be anybody. Judy can go. Um, Rold can go. Fauna can go. Honestly, Fauna, Judy, and Rold, they can low-key all go. It can be any of them. Preferably Judy and Fauna, though. Hi, Groshi. I want to share great news. I passed my exam, and now I'm a licensed medical <laughs> medical professional. Thank you for being my study buddy and hearing you. Yeah, it makes me focus, which is funny, but real. What? Congratulations! Oh my gosh! A licensed medical professional in the chat? That's crazy. Congratulations! That's amazing! I'm so proud. My study buddy. My study buddy. See that? Being a professional yapper helps somebody. I win. You hear that, Al? This is my perfect plan. You hear that, Al? This is my perfect plan. Celebrate good times, come on. It's a celebration. I win. You win. All right. Wow, that, that felt amazing. Oh my God. Hey, do you guys crack your toes? Wow, that's a lot more yeses than I expected. That's like way more yeses than I expected. Oh my god. I'm impressed. How do you do that? I just press down on my toes. I like press down. Kind of like I would on my, on my finger. Because your toes are really just fingers. But like... On your feet. They're like finger... They're... they're their feet fingers. Their feet, feet, nurse. Feet, feet, gers. No, but I broke my ankles. Thank <laughs> you. I'm sorry, that wasn't funny. That wasn't funny. I didn't mean uh, that. I was. I laughed at something else. Um, I saw something funny on the screen, right when you said that. Right when you sent that super. Um, I saw something else happen. I wasn't laughing at you, like at you breaking your ankle. I know that technically you sent that super for comedic effect, but I still feel, you know, I just, I. Life is crazy. Bro, you literally snickered? Hey, shut up. I 
hope I, I really I, I hope for a swift recovery though. Hope for the swiftest of recoveries for you. It's over for me. Oh, fuck. Exactly. If I say I didn't laugh, then I didn't laugh. Tuber did what? Any bubbles in chat? Any bubbles in chat? Yo, Fawn is low-key dancing. I die at age 69? Whoa. That's longer than I expected. What do you want me to say, 30? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know how long I'm going to live. I'll go as long as I can. Actually, I'll go as long as I'm needed. Vanta dies at 69. He's only got five more years. What? Why am I 60 years old? Why, why are you saying that I'm old? Are you trying to say that I'm a boomer? I'm not a boomer. I'm not a boomer. I'm not a boomer. I'm not a boomer. I'm actually a Zoomer. Boomers do not say that they aren't Boomers. What are you talking about? You can't just say that's what that's something would, that Boomers would say. That's just not true. No Boomer says that they aren't a Boomer unless they're just in denial about their age or something. No, they don't. Boomers say that they aren't Boomers? How? What? what, what? What? Yeah, exactly. Don't don't boomers hate being called like something else, you know? I'm not a zoomer. It's Saturday. Ah, uh, no bubbles today. Oh, I see. Voice reveal. Is it that you've been waiting for? Maple!
I don't think Bubbles can show up on when KK's here. Maple looks like who? Wrinkle review? Hey, my face actually looks fantastic. I have a skincare routine. I use eye cream and I have SPF in my moisturizer. So you can do as many wrinkle check you can do as many wrinkle checks as you want. I take care of my skin. I take care of my skin. I just exfoliated it like yesterday. The only thing I haven't been doing is masking. I need a mask. I need to find some good masks. Skincare only slows down aging. It doesn't stop it. And at your age, shut up. I'm banning you. Botox bringer? That's insane, dude. Wait, you mask every day? Really? You're supposed to, like, isn't, isn't that kind of bad for you, actually? Can't, can't masks, like, dry out your skin if you do them too much? Or are they good? No, Venta, I mask every day. I thought you were supposed to mask like maybe two times a week. Like I thought it was supposed to be similar to exfoliating. I thought I, I didn't think it was something you do every day because I know you're supposed to do it after cleansing. You do it after cleansing and after exfoliating if it's an exfoliating day. A different mask? What do you mean a different mask? What are we talking about? Is this is this like some special shit? Now you're actually making me feel like a boomer. I think it depends on your skin and the type of mask. No, Vanta, I'm mentally ill. What? You mean like you're putting on a mask, like to talk to people and like function normally in society? Yeah, I mean, doesn't everybody mask? Is not, but like there is a version of masking everyone does. Bruh, I was just talking about skincare. There's no reason to get philosophical on me, okay? Let's not. My brain doesn't work at this time. It's getting late. I'm starting to f understand what kunai feels like. This shit is crazy. out here chilling trying to find out what's the skincare meta all y'all are talking about i wear a mask every day i wake up in the morning and it's dark all i see is darkness because my soul is so dark i am neurodivergent you guys have that fucking other persona fucking going on that shit is crazy i put on I put on a mask every day. Everything is pain. I wake up and the sun is just a black circle because everything around me is dark. So I wear a mask so that nobody else can feel my darkness because I'm Batman. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, no. I'm not gonna act like I 100% understand, but I, I, I do, I do get what you guys are talking about. So you know, I feel you. I feel you as much as I possibly can. But I mean. It, it, if, if it's if it's any if it's any consolation technically everyone's got some kind of a mask on so either that implies that more people are neurodivergent than we think or wearing a mask isn't so not normal after all shway, shway, thank you for five months speaking of masks do you prefer the she ones or the ones you wash away i don't know it depends the she ones can feel nice the ones you wash away are honestly kind of annoying. I think I prefer sheet ones. I should have gotten some face masks in Japan. But now that I think about it, usually the sheet masks you kind of have to refrigerate. So I don't know if I could have I could have survived the flight. Oh, somebody wants to talk to me. Okay, maybe I won't get to go villager hunting tonight. It's getting late. You're supposed to refrigerate them. Well, some masks you're supposed to refrigerate. Because they have certain things in them that need to be, like, you know, kept cool. Oh, you invited me over to your house? I thought you were... Oh, Judy, I gotta go. I can't do this. What do we have to talk about? What are we talking about? My home is is your home, as they say. So please relax and enjoy. Judy, you you your house is a playpen. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna read the books? I can't, I can't take any books out. What is this? What do you have on the radio? Sometimes when I'm at home alone, listening to music, I suddenly find myself dancing around the room. I know how foolish it sounds. It doesn't sound foolish. Everyone does that, Judy. That's very normal. I can't leave. Can I leave? Oh my god. Yeah, let's play a game. No, I know the rules. Here's the car. What? What the fuck? You, you motherfucker! I, it's five. Oh my gosh, dude! Lower? Oh man! Thanks a lot. Can I leave now? K 
KK Lullaby? Well, thank you very much. It doesn't look like we're getting any bubbles tonight. Oh my god, screw you! I just got back into the game, dude! Oh, I'm sorry, everybody here just lost. My bad, y'all. If you unsubscribe and unmember, I completely understand. I completely understand. I... I would, I would totally, man. They just won't let me live anymore. They won't let me fucking live. I lost on, I lost on Twitter yet, uh, earlier today. I'm quitting the game. <laughs> Ah, life is so painful. Are you kidding, dude? Wait, what the f- What? I hate this. I hate my life. I hate- kill me. Just- I- I die. What the heck, dude? I hate this life, honestly. This is dumb. This is dumb. Holy guacamole, you're hot. Why does it sound like I would say something like that? Why? Why do you, why do you get those vibes from me? Why would I say something like that? Like, I get it. Holy shiitake mushrooms. What the frick frack snick snack. But like, holy guacamole? That's a bit of a stretch, no? Bravo, avocado. I hate everything. I'm not streaming anymore for the rest of the week. I don't want to stream anymore. Oh. 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 I mean, I actually am going to go to sleep relatively soon. Not only because I have to be up at 5 a.m., but because I'm tired as hell. I'm actually sleepy. We're not getting any bubbles tonight, chat. I don't think we're going to get any bubbles tonight. You can see me saying, holy macaroni. You're banned. You're banned. You're, you're gone. You're done.
What the H E double hockey sticks? All right, that's enough. Why? You'd say, gosh, golly. All right. I don't want to stream anymore. I'm tired. I'm tired of everybody. You'd say, holy macaroni. Saying Geronimo when jumping into bed. <laughs> okay. All right. We're just going back to the, to the fucking Disney thing during the, the Chrysex stream. Van's the type of guy to say, uh, guys, he's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Huh. <sighs> 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 I'm dead, bro. He's right behind me, isn't he? Oh, crap! I hate it. It's not my fault. These tropes are funny, okay? Chinkies, gang. Like zoinks, like zoinks, guys. I've only been using 2% of my power. All right, then. Bubble. Bubble. Bubble, baby. Bubble. Uh-oh. 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 We won. <laughs> I win. Bravo, avocado. I'm going to start saying that shit unironically now. Same with holy guacamole. I have nothing else to lose. Might as well just play into it. It's fucking over, dude. I mean, you know, honestly, now that I think about it, let's see. Let's 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 get down to business really quick. All right. So what the frick frack snick snack? What the frick frack snick snack? Um holy shiitake mushrooms. Um I'm talking about food ones specifically. Food, food specifically. I don't think I've ever said sugar honey iced tea. I think I may have said that once and that was for a very specific reference. Uh, 
I've okay. never said aw fish sticks. You guys are just fucking making up shit right now. Ones I've said. See you later, alligator. That's not f <sighs> Technically it is, but it, we're, uh, it's not. No, we're not using that. We're really stretching this shit far. Shiitake mushrooms. I know there's another one. Oh. Fucking. It goes down easy. Like baby food. Okay, that's another one. Um, what else? What else? What else do I say that's food-based? I don't say holy macaroni. What? Why do we? Why? I don't even say that. What the fudge? Uh, okay, that's fair. I I've never said how do you like them apples. You guys are just looking up random tropes of like old shows and just pasting them in chat. Stop. I don't say those things. People McNugget. Fuck. You're right. Nom nom delicioso. Oh my god. How do you like them apples? Yeah, I said it ironically. Let's get this bread. I'm cooked. I hate that, but you're right. Smooth like butter? No. If anything, I say they call me butter because I'm on a roll. Great, thank you for seven months. Arigato gozaimasu. Wait, seven months? Wait, is, is the seventh month of the year Nanagatsu? Or is that Shichigatsu? But I don't know how you'd say seven months per se. She got to. She she got to. She got to. Isn't it the same? I mean, technically, from what I understand, they are interchangeable, but I don't know why they make the distinction. Like when you're telling the time, you usually don't say nana nanaji. You say like shichiji. And I'm like, why? <laughs> I'm like, why? Why make it so much more confusing for me? It's Shichigatsu. Okay. Shigatsu is April. Okay. Shigatsu is the four month. Oh. This pains me. Yeah, she and Yon. That pains me, dude. Shichigatsu and Shigatsu. Pain, dude. Although the one that kind of did help me is, um, uh, what is it? For Fun and Pun, uh, at the ends of time. The one that got me that really helped was, um, um, basically it's fun if the number ends in a vowel. 
If it doesn't end in a vowel, then it's pun. At least I think. I'm not sure how consistent that is, but I think it works for the vast majority of them. So like, what is it? it? What is it? For what? Right now it's nine fifty-two. Go go, go go. Kuji, kuji. Goju, goju sam sam pun. I think I think that's right. I think that's right. Maybe odd and even numbers. I don't think that's correct either. I think odd and even numbers is it's one of the ways they get you. I remember watching a video about it, and it's like, basically, it starts off with you thinking that it's it's every other number. But then as you press on, you realize that um, uh, some numbers back-to-back -back will be fun, and then some numbers back-to-back -back will be pun. It's not really consistent. The, the best tip I remember was, if it ends in a vowel sound, then it's fun. So like, ichi fun, uh, nana fun, Ni ni fun, yon pun, san pun, go fun. Hmm. Judy, any bubbles in chat? Ip pun. Yeah. Or no, wait. Ip pun is one. Ichi, I'm Ichi, Ichi fun. It's Ifun, not Ichi fun. Thank you for correcting me. I don't know, dude. My brain doesn't work most of the time, anyways. Actually, now that I think about it, did I miss a lesson? I hope I haven't been missing my lessons. I did miss a lesson. Fuck. schedule no I pay for them so once I miss it I miss it it's all right oh roll rolled I love you buddy but you gotta go gotta go at some point i'm gonna have to get rid of him because the way i look at it is this fawn is going because i i don't want to have any other deer besides shino 
The ones I want for sure in my village right now in this very instant are Ketchup, Lucky, and Punchy. So that's at least three that are gonna have to that are gonna have to go away. And I know what you're thinking. You could just get rid of Miranda, Fauna, and Judy. I know that there's someone else. So what about Molly? You just reminded me about Molly. And I don't know. Maybe I won't. I'm just going to wait until it's Judy or, or Fauna. I have two octopuses. Oh, you're right. Well, I mean, one is Tentapod and the other one's just really cute. So I don't know if I'd count that. <sighs> Crazy Dio. But the bears aren't both cute. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking a lot of questions right now. All right. That's unfair. Well... Unfortunately, this is my kingdom. It's my Burger King. I can have it my way. I win. Add that to the food list phrase? What? Really? Really? You don't have a bubble anymore, Roland. Who does have a bubble? Not you two. You can't have a bubble. Probably somebody that's inside. Oh, that's so annoying. Just be outside and let me kick you out. But you heard it? Well, I mean, either way, Judy and um, uh, Judy and Fun are in their homes. So even if you did hear it, wait. It's nobody that I can see here. I think you're crazy. It's not anybody out here. Yeah, it's not Coco. It's not anybody that's out right now. I'd love to think that you aren't crazy. 
because every single villager that's out right now are all villagers that I want to keep. So, like... Fauna and Judy in, in their homes. Judy Judy's not home. Fauna looks like she's home. That's Zucker's house. Miranda. Rolled. What the hell? Where does Fauna live? You only want one of each type, won't you have to replace Lolly with Punchy? Why? Do I have two cats? Oh, you're right. Man, you guys are making me rethink all this shit. I'ma just end stream. Too much thinking we got going on. That got me thinking too hard. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check one more time. I'm gonna check one more time. And if I don't see a bubble, I'm going to bed. Don't blame us. I am blaming you. I can break my own rules. Hmm. Okay, okay. I think, I think, I think this is it. This is the end all be all. <sighs> Blame is like a positive thing? No, I'm blaming you. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. All right. No, it's Saturday. Back. Hey, thank you very much. Not this one. I actually meant this next one. All right. What happens on Saturday? No, there's no bubbles. Sure. Or just think you're seven months. At this point, I feel like you should see a list of all the islanders and just make a top ten and also happy seven months. And just make a top ten. That's too difficult. Okay. Spyro, thank you. 
for the remember. Thank you for the remember. Thank you for the slime slimesery. Thank you for the slimesery. That's pretty much it. Discovering new villagers is fun. I haven't seen all the villagers. Oh, it's Fauna's birthday. Campsite visitor and it's Fauna's birthday? The only thing that sucks about this is the fact that Fauna's probably not going to have a bubble because it's her fucking birthday. God damn it. Okay. Bubble? God damn it. Well, GG. I'm just gonna stop after this. Uh, just disappoint me again like you always do, campsite. Wow, that is insane. I ask you and like, gosh, it's crazy. I feign like I don't care, and then they actually just give me like some bullshit. It's insane. It is absolutely insane. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna say goodnight then. And rest. Huh. That's an unfortunate uh, situation to end on. Thank you for six months, Spyro. Time flies fast. Lapis Dragon because I can't change the name for seven days. So I had a feeling you were Lapis, but I just decided to call you Spyro to play it safe. But like, goddamn, <laughs> you can't see you. You know what? I respect that. I didn't do anything. I didn't. I didn't do anything for April Fools on Twitter because I didn't feel like having to wait for it to change because I already knew that it wouldn't be able to. It wouldn't let me change it back. The same thing happened to me for fucking Christmas. Garden, thank you for the five gifted. Holy heck. Thank you so much. Dog, thank you for the gifted. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys so much for all the supas, all of the gifted today, and all of the all of the remembers and all of the new memberships too. Thank you so much. Um, so tomorrow, or technically in about seven hours, uh, I will be playing uh Left 4 Dead 2 with Crisisis. That will be with Claude, Wilson, and Zally. I've never played Left 4 Dead 2. So you guys will be seeing something for the first time because I have quite literally never played this game. So yeah, <laughs> it's going to be interesting to say the least. So I'm excited to play it for the first time with everybody. I've heard lots of good things. They were telling me it's really good. So I'm looking forward to it. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, I know my streams are shorter, uh, and they're going to be shorter for a bit, but thank you for your patience and thank you for allowing me to try and recover my uh, decrepit sleep schedule and body. Thank you so much for understanding. Okay. Y'all are the best. Thank you for being the best crew. Okay. So. Ooh, tomorrow will be left for dead. Oh, and also Shinkansen. Shinkansen. Be doing another Chilla's Arts game. I haven't played a Chilla's Arts since. What was the last one? Was the last one the kidnap? I think. I think the last one was the kidnap. I don't remember. But yes. Allegros, thank you for two months. Hong Shu Mimi time. It is indeed Hong Shu Mimi time. Sorry, thank you for one month. No, you're cool. <gasps> Ray, thank you for eight months. Have a good rest until the next stream. Take as much time as you need. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will take care of myself, I swear. I will do my best this. I'm gonna go the fuck to bed. Oh, Vivi's date RP. Oh, what is Vivi doing? Huh, interesting. Huh, okay, I guess I'll read Vivi. Yo, yo, they give her seven months. Dude, they give her six months. Kind of know they give her eight months. Thank you guys all so much for the remembers. I appreciate it. She's being an emo girl. Okay. It's date RP. All right, then. I will raid Vivi. Okay, then. Good night, everybody. I'm done streaming.
that's all for today. See you later. Matane. See you for the next stream. Good night. Hasta la bye bye. Say hi to Vivi and the Paladins. Bye bye. 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 I should have never given you guys no you. Whatever. You're cool. Rest well. See you in the next stream in like seven hours. LOL. <laughs>